Excellence Academy. For today, we'll be looking at some of the basic rules that guides us in writing the names of um, organic compounds. In our previous classes, in our previous videos, we've looked at how to correctly name or correctly give the names of organic compounds. For today, we'll be looking at how to correctly write the names of um, organic compounds. So it's one thing for you to know how to name these compounds. It's another thing to be able to correctly write down their names. All right, so very fast, we'll run through some of these rules that guides our, our ability to write down the names of organic compounds. The first rule is this. When it comes to writing the names of organic compounds, separate numbers from numbers using a comma. Very important. So let's say I want to write one, two. I don't write 12. I don't write this. This would be wrong. What you do is this. You write 1, 2. Separate one number from another number using a comma. So if I want to write 1, 2, you don't write it this way. You write it this way. Reason being that if I see this, I'm not sure if it's 1, 2 or if it's 12. All right. So you separate one number from another using a comma. That's the first rule in writing the names of organic compounds. It, it also works this way. If you want to write 2, 3, 4, you don't write 2, 3, 4. This will be wrong. What you write is 2, comma, 3, comma, 4. This is the right way to write down the names of organic compounds. Separate one number from another using a comma. Rule 2. Separate one number from an alphabet using a hyphen. Or perhaps you could say separate a word or an alphabet from a number using a hyphen, whichever way it works. For instance, I want to say one two dibromo, or I want to write one two dibromo. You don't write this, you don't do this, you don't say or you don't write one two dibromo. This is wrong. Please. The correct way to write this is this: it's um one two di. Room. This is correct. So you separate a number from an alphabet using a hyphen. That's the second rule of writing the um, names of organic compounds. The third rule there is this. Letters or all letters after a number should be written with small letters. Okay. So let's say I have um, three, four, five. I want to say try. Let's say try methyl. You don't write try methyl. This is wrong. Please. We are saying that all letters after a number should be written with small letters. So what should what should be here is three, four, five, hyphen. I will use a small letter. Okay. So we'll use small letter here. Try methyl. This is the correct way to write this way. So all letters after a number are written with small letter. The fourth rule for writing the names of organic compound is this. Capital letters for letters should be used only when or only if the letter is starting the name of the compound. Okay? So I only use capital letters when I'm writing or when I'm starting the name of the compound. Let's say for instance, I want to say cyclopropane. I want to write cyclopropane. You write it this way. Cyclopropane. So Observe that I'm starting this C with a capital letter. All right, so you only use capital letters when I'm starting the names of organic compounds. That's like the third rule. All right, um, that's the fourth rule. So those are like the four the four rules when it comes to writing um, correctly the names of organic comp compounds. Number one, separate a number from another using a comma. Number two, separate a number from an alphabet or an alphabet from a number using a hyphen. Number three, letters after a number should be written with small letters, right? Number four, you only use capital letter when I'm starting the names of um, organic compounds. So we'll take just one example on this and we'll see what we can get. Um, let's say I want to write, let me take the name of a long compound, okay? Let's say, now observe my writing now. I'm writing this two or three, four, seven hyphen, okay? Separating so numbers from numbers, isn't it? Comma, hyphen, try, bromo. I want to write a number here, so I'll use a hyphen. Um, let's say five 
chloro. So I separated letter from number using a hyphen, number from letter using a hyphen. And observe, all of these are small letters because they are not starting the name. So only capital letters are not starting the name of the compound. All right, so try to, let's now see, um, okay. try to, let's use on the king. So observe my writing, observe my writing, all right? Okay, something else. You see, cyclo, put two in. Unless I have a compound like this, cyclo put two in. This is our king. Observe, I started this with the capital letter Y. It is starting the name of the organic compound. Also, where I have um, alphabet and number, I use a hyphen. Number and alphabet, I use a hyphen. So these are the four things you should note when it comes to writing um, the names of organic compounds.